Baylor men's basketball coach, national championship head coach Scott Drew with us, 365 Sports. When I say national championship coach, I know that you're worried about like the next game. That's pretty darn impressive to be able to have that attached to you. What does that mean? Uh, it, it means that we accomplish something uh, that's really rare. And, uh, and when I say we, it's a team effort. So uh, all the Baylor family in Central Texas uh, should feel a lot of pride in that. And uh, that's what excites me most about it. Scott, how hard or is it difficult to keep the culture of what you work so hard to get to and maintain that and even excel even more at it? <laughs> um, it, it nothing's easy in life. And uh, uh, every day that uh, uh, you achieve something, then obviously expectations grow for what's next. And that's, that's the same thing in, in coaching. So uh, the last five years, we've been the winningest Power 5 program uh, in the country. And um, we've had a chance to win the last game, meaning a, talent, a talented enough team to do that, but doesn't always guarantee you are going to do that. And, uh, the, the challenge and excitement that goes in that. And so blessed to uh, have a great uh, staff administration that's allowed us to bring in great players to compete uh, for championships. Uh, but again, um, you can't control injuries. You can't control uh, chemistry sometimes or leadership. And um, some nights you have an off night. So uh, it's really hard to uh, win a championship because you've got to be on uh, for six games and you've got to be on during the regular season to put yourself in a position to be in the, uh, the win the six games. It's never best of seven. So it's not the best team wins. It's who's the best team for 40 minutes wins. So you put all that together. Together, that's why it's so hard to win a championship. At the same time, um, we've, we've had opportunities for the last five years, which is great. To be in the non-conference schedule that you have, which has always been a battering ram, and then, of course, it goes up a level because every night in the Big 12, and including now incoming schools, uh, even more of a battering ram, uh, a war of attrition, so to speak, and then, of course, tournament play. How would you compare that to something outside of basketball that, that every single day and night is going to be tough? <laughs> For people that like to run a marathon, think there you about go. getting up and running a marathon the next day. <laughs> yep. So, so uh, I'll bet I can tell you, uh, I know uh, uh, Matt Roberts put this in our game notes. Bryce Cherry wrote about it. And, um, uh, our staff was really excited this morning to learn that the last three out of four Novembers we've been undefeated. So at least with the tough schedule, we've started out uh, in a, in a great manner and a position to allow you to. Um, you we always divide season, non conference, conference, Big Twelve tournament, and then postseason. And each step of the way, if you're successful, allows you to get that postseason one. Do you still carry that little white piece of paper while you're on the sideline or courtside? Actually, those are uh, uh, note cards with uh, uh, all kinds of notes, plays, um, offense, defense, everything. So, you know, football is a lot more complicated. So I think theirs is eight and a half by 11. <laughs> Those basketball coaches a lot simpler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, theirs is all laminated, hanging from their jacket. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. <laughs> if, if, if a, a big gust of wind ever hit, it would take the coach in the air with the laminated. Uh, and I do that when I have a spotter board for the game. So are those just uh, uh, are those trends, analytics, or anything in particular that you put on those cards? Uh, honestly, it's everything. Um, plays um, for each position, plays for each player, um, defenses, uh, I mean, uh, lineups, um, depending on moments, up, down, win. So uh, the only thing is the older I get, the harder it is to read my writing because there's <laughs> that thing called reading classes. So anyway, <laughs> yep. but, but I'm one of those guys that's got to write it down to remember it, and then uh, uh, that does help prep me for each, for each game. I know. So earlier today you were on Coach K's podcast. The respect level that he has for you, and the respect level you, of course, have for him and what he has for your family. How much has that meant to you? It's, it's been a lot. Um, and literally because uh, uh, a lot of the things that we do and incorporate, um, uh, he's helped with, uh, meaning uh, either reading books, watching clinics, 
uh, or listen to his speeches or just talking to him one-on-one. Um, I remember uh, once we won a championship, uh, I reached out to several coaches and him being one of them to find out um, what the recommendation was for the next year. And uh, I joked with him on the podcast that when we were 15-0 and 0 and then we had, I remember, three season-ending injuries, I, he joked with me, yeah, part of the – advice was don't don't have three season ending injuries <laughs> <laughs> yeah there, there you go you know yeah. <laughs> throughout your career when you've had others how much change and it's not like you pay attention to this but you have to understand it and know it's there or recognize it how much change have you kind of felt from the basketball community as far as head coaches who have been around quite a bit on what they think of you as a basketball coach first and foremost the longer you're in a profession, the more that uh, you get to know people. And normally, the better you know people, uh, um, you, you, usually you find common uh, uh, a common bond. And uh, th- as those relationships grow, obviously, people uh, talk more uh, highly of their friends. Uh, I think at the same time, and this is one thing, when you're building a program, uh, I remember the first year, that uh, uh, I think every conference team, the year that we didn't have a conference season, it was like almost every game that we won in conference that that coach lost their job. I wouldn't like me either, you know. And then you get to a point where, when when you play Baylor University, if you lose, you're not getting killed or fired over it. It makes it easier to like that guy as well. So I think I think there's some validity in in that too. Uh, and all of that goes to, is a compliment to. Baylor University and what what program we've been able to build. So, um, and and I take great pride in 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 being a part of that. Scott Drew with us on three sixty five Sports. Your December, you've got Seton Hall. Not that you don't have others. Seton Hall, mm-hmm. Michigan State, and there's Duke. Coach K's obviously program for many many years. You're seven and zero. Oh. You're rolling. Uh, do you then, after that run, will you know exactly who you are as a basketball team, or is that always a progress or in progress? You know, that's what's great about sports. It's always it's always uh, uh, ever moving. And what I mean by that is, one game, one player will, will, will like Langston. Last game was uh, twenty three points on what ten shots. Mm-hmm. Um, is Langston a great player? Yes, but will he do that every game? I don't know. That's pretty hard to do. So my point is, some players go go through streaks where they're really on fire. Other times there might be get players slumping. You might have injuries. You might have illnesses. But it's always changing. I mean, typically you have a big win and then a lot of teams are satisfied and then have a tough loss, you know? So like um, our depth and balance hopefully allows us to be consistent. Um, But it is uh, really each and every year we we equate it to climbing a mountain. And our goal as a staff is to get as high as we can with maximize the talent and abilities God's given us with each and every team. And However high that takes us, um, our goal is just to reach that level. To, com- to, to to compile a roster, you and I asked I asked you this about a few months ago. To compile a roster in this day and age of transfer portal, NIL, NBA, whatever, uh, is so hard. How has this team gelled so well that offensively there doesn't seem like you like these guys have been playing together mm. for two or three years? Our staff has done a tremendous job in bringing in players that uh, are talented players, but also fit our culture and fit our system. And because of that, that's made the transition quicker um, and better than than uh, it is for some. Because, as you know, it used to be um, – people like to set up five-year plans or three-year mm-hmm. plans. And now nowadays, it's um, it, it'd be like you going in each day, who's going to be our guest on the show and not having an idea? I mean, because you're recruiting a half-new team based on guys that might transfer or go pro or whatnot. And, um, it, it, it's, it's a lot harder to predict uh, the future. And each and every year that you have a team that uh, um, puts each other first and is talented enough to win the last game, that's really a blessing, and that's why you see uh, it's so hard for teams to sustain success and why we've been so blessed at, at Baylor University. I, I've seen this myself, but also have had others attached to the program tell me that, you know, you had the Austin Sachs, that, that play that was set up, and yet they changed it a couple of times to make sure he had the shot. The bench seems to be as involved um, and uh, full throttle, caring about everybody who's on the court or not. 
uh, you've had four or so players 20-plus points in a game, eight players, 10 points, double figures or more in a game. How has that come together so quickly? Just what you said, uh, um, well, we got a culture of joy, Jesus, others, yourself, and uh, the players playing for the right reasons, right priorities. And your biggest strength can always be your biggest weakness is something I always say, and, and our depth is our strength until – people start caring more about themselves and then it becomes a weakness. So um, as long as we keep uh, uh, the right priorities, um, then then good things should happen for us. All right. Are you a scribbler on the whiteboard or are you like really neat with your, uh, your X's and O's? <laughs> Hey, I make a doctor look good. <laughs> <laughs> that answers everything. Hey, man, congratulations <laughs> last night. Appreciate what you're doing. Good luck. See you soon. And thanks for your time. Thank you, and thank you, Baylor family. Scott Drew on 365 Sports. We get